Hello everyone, in this video we're going to see the different instruments you're going to use. Uh, this tray contains different uh, instruments, the examination kit, cutting instruments, non-cutting instruments including the manipulation instruments, and the hand pieces and uh, adjunctive uh, instruments. So we'll start with the periodontal probe. Okay. It's, it's used to measure the uh, periodontal pocket or in the lab, in the, you measure the cavity depth. After that, we have the explorer, dental explorer, and it has two sides, two ends, okay? And it is used to uh, check the smoothness of the cavity floor and to check clearance for class two cavities. Okay, and then also to check the restoration uh, margins. After that, we have the dental mirror. And it's used to retract the cheek, reflect the light. After that, we go to the cutting instruments. So this is the spoon excavator. We can see here how it has multiple angles. Okay and it looks like a spoon. And it's usually double-ended. Okay, and it's used to remove soft caries from the cavity. After that, we go to the enamel hatchet. Okay. We can see how it is in a right angle. Uh, it's also usually double-ended, okay, and it's used to cleave the enamel uh, walls and floors and remove unsupported enamel. And it's mainly used for the walls. Here we have the gingival marginal trimmer, or GMT, okay, and we can see how it is curved, unlike the enamel hatchet, okay, and it's also double-ended okay and we can check uh, see here that also there is an angle and we're going to talk that in details in a separate video and this is usually used to cleave the uh, or remove the unsupported enamel in the gingival margin after that we will find the chisel okay we can see how it is different from the other cutting instruments, okay? And it has the same function as the enamel hatchet. After that, we're going to go to the manipulation instruments or the non-cutting instruments. We have the plastic filling instrument. Usually it comes also double-ended. One side is like this, okay? And then the other side is. like this okay and we're going to talk in details uh, about all of those this is used uh, usually to uh, for um, composite material we have different kinds of burnishers this is a bowl burnisher okay it also has two sizes double-ended two sizes and it comes in different sizes it's used either for uh, amalgam restorations or for uh, to burnish amalgam restorations or for composite restorations as well. After that we have a diamond or an acorn burnisher and it's also usually double sided with two, size, two sizes. And this is usually used to uh, form anatomy in either composite or amalgam restorations. Okay. This is a condenser to condense amalgam restorations. It's also usually double-sided. And sometimes we use it to pack composite as well. After that here we have the carving instruments. This is the discoid cleoid carver. This is the cleoid part. And the other side is the discoid part, okay? And it's from the name. 
because it looks like a disc. So it's called disc and oid means similar to. Okay, so this is a discoid and this is a cleoid carver. And this is used, uh, this instrument is used to carve uh, amalgam restoration. This is another carver. This is called the Hollenbach carver or Hollenbach carver. And it's usually also double ended, also to carve um, amalgam. This is an amalgam carrier to carry amalgam. It's from the name. Okay, we have here the cement spatula. Usually also comes in two shapes or different shapes. We have the pliers or the tweezer. This is used to carry uh, materials uh, from and uh, to the oral cavity. Okay. We have the Toflemeyer retainer. Okay. And it's used to carry the matrix band when we're doing uh, class two restorations. And now this is for the uh, rotary instruments. This is the low speed handpiece. And this is the high speed handpiece. We have the three way syringe. So this is attached to the unit to uh, eject either water or air or both. That's why it's called three way syringe. And this is the high volume section. So this is just an introductory video about the instruments you're typically going to use in the lab. And in the next video, we're going to go in more details. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.